Nice to meet you. My name is uh, Takuto Nagata from Towing, uh, and I would like to explain about our project. Uh, about our project. Um, so we are uh, the uh, agri-tech slash uh, biotech company uh, tackling the issues of like climate change and food security. Um, so we're a spin-off from the university called Nagoya University in Japan. And uh, what we have as a core tech is the microorganism cultivation technology. So we are adapting that, you know, the cultivation technology to a material called biochar. Um, and uh, so we raised around $7 million in uh, equity finance in Series A, and we raised another $7 million from the Japanese government grant. So we're leveraging this, um, uh, the money uh, to go abroad. Um, the, the things that we're tackling is about this, like a current a problem of current agriculture practice. I think a lot of people are aware, but you know, the, in a vertical um, uh, thing, there is a productivity of high and low, and, uh, and horizontal, we have an environmental footprint. The current, you know, um, the uh, agriculture practice has a lot of like, you know, uh, environmental footprint, which is very high, uh, but the predicted is also high. But uh, uh, there's a lot of like, you know, uh, initiatives for the environmental foot, low environmental footprint, but the productivity is also low. So we have to uh, tackle this, like um, the uh, situation uh, by uh, the cutting edge technology. So this is a problem that we are solving. Um, so um, this is our solution. Uh, we call this, uh, we are developing, um, uh, in, a, in a nutshell, it's like a super functional soil amendment material, uh, which we call solatan. And uh, this is consists of uh, uh, three different types of things. Uh, one is the soil derived microorganism. So this is all the technology that we are coming from. Uh, and the two is the biochar. Um, the biochar is a material that is derived from the unused biomasses, such as rice facts and livestock manure. Uh, and, uh, and we obtain this with the uh, burning process without oxygen to create a very highly concentrated type of form of uh, the carbon. So this is called biochar and uh, and also the organic fertilizer um, in order to activate the microorganism. So together, uh, combining all the, all the things uh, of three materials, we create this uh, uh, soil amendment product of Soratan. So uh, what we have, the concept of this technology is that, um, so we have a cocktail of microbes technology, so we can select the uh, ideal um, uh, portfolio of microbes. Uh, so we mix with the char because we utilize char because char has a lot of like a small holes. So it's like a perfect place for the, the microbes to thrive inside it. So we, we utilize as a media for the microbes to go inside the soil. So what we have is that, you know, the um, uh, getting a proper technology in the combination and to create a recipe for a sustainable practice uh, for agriculture. Uh, so this is a very local uh, business model. Um, so uh, in the middle, we have a, uh, um, the Soratan, our product, and we collect the biomass waste, unused biomass waste. I think uh, Thailand has a lot of like a sugarcane bag ass and also like uh, rubber trees, those kind of unused biomasses for the collect like and to create a biochar. And then we mix with some microorganism, local microorganism in the field and organic fertilizer and uh, bring back to the soil in the local area. So this has a lot of meanings. Uh, one is uh, about the circular economy type of things. Two is um, the restoring the soil health and also the uh, carbon sequestration because, uh, you know, the biochar uh, is a concentrated form of uh, CO2. So if you bury that inside the soil, uh, we can generate the carbon credit. So uh, our product uh, of Sonatan is been has been used for um, around 200 farmers in Japan. So actually, it's commercialized already in Japan. So uh, in Japan, it's like uh, we are in the uh, uh, ramping up the scale production scale. Uh, so we have the knowledge and expertise in Japan. So that's why we're leveraging this technology to um, outside, especially in Thailand. <clears throat> So this is all the merits achieved by the uh, our product of Soratan. So it has a uh, several different aspect of this uh, the functionality. But today I would like to you know um, to uh, narrow down what we want what I want to explain into two uh, two types of like items. One is about uh, advanced soil amendment, and the second is about the carbon direct removal. So um, for the first um, uh, things. Uh, so this is the uh, the whole idea of our product is to fully utilize the organic fertilizer. So if you can see in the left side that in the problem of utilizing the organic fertilizer, uh, if you switch from chemical fertilizer, organic fertilizer, uh, typically the yield goes down uh, around 30%. And also there is a long soil preparation period, uh, typically it's five years. Uh, so this is a prevailing problem of like utilizing the organic fertilizer, uh, but uh, we can flip, um, uh, flip this trend 
uh, effects of using our, our product is that uh, actually we can increase the yield by 20 to 70%. And also we can really shorten the soil preparation to one month. So this is a functionality that has come from the, uh, the soil uh, So easy uh, way to understand is that, you know, the left part is a chemical fertilizer based agriculture uh, for the Japanese spinach. And the right part is about the, uh, the Soratan plus organic fertilizer. In this case, it's around 70% increase of the yield in uh, one month soil preparation period. Um, so what we are doing is the testing with a lot of different crops. Um, uh, in Japan, it's normally it's uh, eating vegetables, it's like you know, potatoes, onions, eggplants, those kind of things. Uh, so we tested more than like a 30 uh, plus uh, crop types. I think in Thailand, it's going to be more like a sugarcane cassava, which I am pretty sure that's going to work the um, same manner in Thailand condition. <clears throat> so we're um, uh, increasing the amount of field trial results. Um, as I mentioned, we have around 200 farmers adopting. So what we're doing is that uh, because there's a lot of different soil types and uh, different crop types and dif different types to create the biochar, so uh, we're examining the, each type of combination to obtain uh, what, what type of yield we can do, uh, generate. And uh, the second thing that I would like to uh, say about the carbon sequestration, uh, in a natural cycle, if you bury the low uh, um, biomasses, uh, it can generate the carbon uh, CO2 by decomposition of the bacteria. But uh, if you, in the form of char, uh, this like a char has, a, it's very hard for the microorganism to uh, decompose it. So that's why the, the CO2 can stay, uh, carbon can stay in the soil for 100, uh, over 100 years. So that's why we can generate the carbon credit. So last two slides, um, overview of our business model, it's pretty simple. Uh, so it's pretty close to the uh, business, model, business model of renewable energy. So there is a biochar plant here uh, and the plant, this plant's gonna collect the local biomass waste uh, from surrounding area. Uh, and this uh, plant will, um, one, produce a biochar and also two, produce a microorganism in order to create this sorotan. So this sorotan is sells to the, uh, the local farmers and distributed, and then we can generate the carbon credit. So uh, our revenue stream is coming from the sorotan sales itself and also the uh, carbon credits uh, uh, also. So we have a lot of uh, projects in globally. Uh, we have an office in the US, uh, uh, some form of academic partnership, but uh, another uh, very, um, uh, uh, priori high priority area is uh, Southeast Asia uh, and especially Thailand. So uh, we're developing a lot of like a partnership in Thailand, hopefully in a coming uh, year. So what we're looking for a Thailand market is um, uh, one is obviously about the food and farming company to uh, especially jolt the trial of our technology in a farmland. So this is a, a very high prioritized like a partnership that we want to form. Uh, second is a carbon credit buyer. Uh, we are trying to raise a carbon credit uh, through this form. Uh, so we're looking for a carbon credit buyer. And also three is about the um, company that has unused biomasses. Uh, we can utilize the biomasses to create the biochar and also uh, to create the, our product of Sorotan uh, in order to se um, uh, sequester carbon and uh, uh, restore the soil health. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, this was it. Uh, and I hope there's uh, some sort of like a collaboration happened in Thailand. Thank you.